All right, now we're going to take a look at Vizia from the teacher's perspective. Um, so you've, in this case, you've made your video, you've assigned your video, and now you want to see what's happened. Um, so I'm at vizia.co, um, signed in, and these are all of my videos. I haven't made very many, um, but they would, would all be in here. I want to know what happened uh, last night in the case that this is a, a flipped classroom situation um, or what's going on right now in the class if it's uh, blended learning with uh, this video that I assigned, Forms and Features of Quadratic Functions. Um, so you click that link, it takes you to the page. This is, this is later on. This is also where you'll go to get the link uh, for the video to share it out. Um, again, if you're using a website, um, wiki spaces, or something along those lines, and you can embed things, um, then you can use this embed link to do that. Um, and then, as well, we have uh, sort of the, the most uh, relevant feature for right now, um, which is responses. Um, so you see this link that says open in Google Sheets. If you have a Google account, that's probably the easiest way to do it. The nice thing about that is that uh, it will uh, live update. So as students finish, uh, the responses will, will pop right into that sheet. You don't have to go back to this page. Um, if you don't have a Google account, you can just download it as a CSV. It'll open in Excel, um, but you'll have to do that each time you're checking. Um, so I can click open in Google Sheets, and it's going to take me over to um, a window that looks uh, like this. It's, you know, it's, it's a spreadsheet. Um, now I've redacted the names since this was an actual activity I've, I've assigned in the past, um, but in this column B you would see the name they entered, in column C you'd see their email address. Um, and you can see that each of the questions I'd asked in that video is, is available um, in the row as well as each student's uh, individual response. Now this was a multiple choice one and it doesn't give you A, B, C, or D, it gives you their, their actual uh, answers. Um, and again, you can see that some of these were uh, open responses, um, hence that, um, and some of them, um, you know, they, they just point out whether they, they clicked the uh, call to action or not. Um, so the students that actually clicked on the link to take them over to the notes, it says yes. Um, if they ignored it, um, then it will be blank. Um, and the nice thing here is, is you know, this gives you a, a good window into how well they understood the topic. Um, so, you know, you can see, oh, well, almost everyone understood this first part, but, you know, John over here um, made a mistake, so I should, I should make sure to uh, call on him or, or find him during class. Um, or, you know, gee, it really seems like almost nobody uh, understands what's going on here. I need to... to hit that again uh, in class, maybe, you know, do it from a different approach, right? So it gives you this, this formative assessment feedback um, in a nice, uh, clean way so that you could use it um, in advance, you know, you look at it real quick in a, a minute or two before, before class uh, or the night before. Um, and again, if, if this is a, a blended learning situation, um, you can you can sort of react in real time and, and go around and say you know hey I, I noticed that this is your response to uh, to this question uh, let's go through and and, and try a, a similar problem uh, from a different approach